Hey friends, this video is the start of a new series where I'll be covering scholarship questions. A scholarship test is a test that you sit for entrance into a private school. They have five subtests, numerical reasoning, verbal reasoning, reading, mathematics, and writing. This video will be about numerical reasoning. Now, this, these tests have a very strict time limit. So I recommend weaving questions that you don't understand or know will be really time consuming until the end. So let's get into it. Question one. One number multiplied by another makes 60. When they are added, do they make an odd number less than 18? What are the two numbers? Okay, let's look at the first part of the question. One number multiplied by another makes 60. This is asking us for the factors of 60. The factors are two numbers that when you multiply them, they make that number, in this case, 60. So an example would be one and 60 because when you multiply them, they make 60. And another one would be two and 30. Let's write out all the factors. Okay, these are all the factors of 60. Now, we need to find out all the sums of these factors because the second part of the question says, when they are added together, they make an odd number less than 18. Let's add them all together. All right, I've circled all the sums of the numbers. Now, we need to find the odd number that's less than 18. So 61, 32, 23, and 19 are all bigger than 18. Now that leaves us with 17 and 16. 16 is an even number, and we want an odd number. And 17 is both an odd number and it's less than 18, which means the two numbers are 5 and 12. Question 2. Four pairs of socks are double the weight of a tie, but half the weight of a shirt. Which statement is true? Okay, let's write these statements out so that they're a bit easier to read. So first we have four pairs of socks are double the weight of a tie. So that's the same as saying four socks equals two ties. Now how can we simplify that? Well, we can divide both sides by two, which gives us two socks equals a tie. Uh, next we have four pairs of socks are half the weight of a shirt, which is the same as saying four socks equals half a shirt, like 0 0.5 shirts, maybe? <laughs> now how can we simplify this? Well, it's not really simplifying. We're more just making them both whole numbers so they're easier to work with. Well, we can double them both to make this a whole shirt. So let's do that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to find how many ties go to a shirt. Now, how are we going to do that? What we're going to do is we're going to find out how many times two socks go into eight socks. And that is four times, which means four ties because we have times four. So four ties equals a shirt. Now I did that because I multiplied the two socks by four, which gives us eight socks. So eight socks equals four ties and eight socks equals a shirt. And because the eight socks are both equivalent, we can plug both sides into it which means four ties equals a shirt. Now let's check these options to see which statement is correct. A, two ties have the same weight as a shirt. From the last statement, it says four ties have the same weight as a shirt. So A is not the answer. B, two shirts weigh the same as a tie. From that same statement that we've written, it shows us that one shirt weighs the same as four ties. So two shirts would weigh the same as eight ties. So B is definitely not the answer. C, two pairs of shocks has the same weight as a tie. From the first statement, it does say that two socks equals one tie. So C is the correct answer. Question three. A dog is double the weight of a cat, which is double the weight of a bunny. If a wolf is heavier than a dog, but lighter than an elephant, which animal is the heaviest? Let's write out all our potential options. So we have dog, we have cat, we have bunny, we have wolf, and there's dog again, so we're going to ignore that. And we also have elephant. So let's find out which of these five animals are the heaviest. So a dog is double the weight of a cat, so a cat's lighter than a dog, which means that cat's not the answer. And a cat is double the weight of a bunny, which means bunny's not the answer. And a wolf is heavier than a dog, so dog's not the answer. But a wolf is lighter than an elephant. So wolf is not the answer, which leaves us with one option, elephant, which is the correct answer. 
question four. I have thirteen dollars. Tomatoes cost one dollar fifty each. How many tomatoes can I buy? Okay, this is a division problem, and we know that because we're finding out how many tomatoes valued at one dollar fifty will go into the thirteen dollars. So we write that out as thirteen divided by one point five, and it's not one point five zero. Well, it can be one point five zero because the zero at the end of a decimal has no value, so we can get rid of it. It's a bit hard to do 13 divided by 1.5, because 1.5 is a decimal. So if we multiply both sides by 10, we can make them both whole numbers. So that would make it 130 divided by 15. So there's a lot of ways you can do this, but I'm going to do long division. So you put 130 over here, and we're putting the 15 into it. So 15 goes into 130 eight times, 15 times 8 is 120, that leaves us with 10, so the answer is 8 remaining to 10. So we can buy 8 tomatoes. Now, I ignored the remainder 10, because I know it's only $1, and tomatoes cost $1.50 each, so we don't have enough left. It's $1, because remember how we multiplied everything by 10 in this step over here? We're going to divide the remainder by 10 again. So that means we buy 8 tomatoes, and we have $1 left over. The answer is 8 tomatoes. Question 5. Anita is 20 centimeters taller than Bob, who is half the height of Charlie. Charlie is 180 centimeters tall. How tall is Anita? Okay, so if Charlie is 180 centimeters tall, let's write that out. So C, short for Charlie, equals 180. Now, Bob is half the height of Charlie. So Bob will be 180 divided by 2, which is 90. And Anita is 20 centimeters taller than Bob. So Anita is 90 plus 20, which equals 110 centimeters. So Anita's height is 110 centimeters. That's the end of part one. If you'd like to see part two, please subscribe. It really makes me want to make more videos. Bye.